Lachlan, Pete, mate, how are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. Lachlan, just wanted to do a quick podcast with you. You toured with the Australian Stockman in 2017 to New Zealand and Argentina. Yep. Just wanted to catch up and get a few thoughts on you post-touring, mate, and um, just see how you found the tour and, and life after touring. So if you wouldn't mind, if you could introduce yourself. Oh, yes, um, Lachlan Howe, 21 years old, born and raised from Rockhampton, central Queensland, just recently moved to Brisbane. And so at the end of last year, I graduated from my paramedics degree still sitting on trying to get a job from them but um yeah like i said i just moved down to brisbane in the meantime um to play a bit of footy and um just get some casual work in the meantime as well get some money income so good mate tell us about the experience you had in october november touring through new zealand and argentina what was the highlight for you of that tour firstly the main highlight for me was definitely the rugby being played bringing together a good bunch of boys and playing some quality football against against teams from overseas i'm um, but definitely something on my bucket list that I have now I've ticked off. Uh, but also having, the, like I said, the good bunch of boys having to travel with them. They were all awesome, awesome to talk to. You know, you get to learn a bit about them and what they've sort of done in their previous years. But also seeing places like Iguazu Falls and tra- travelling to the Andes on the bus, you know, that was probably my, my another big highlight for myself. But also just sort of experiencing all the towns and um, sort of cities that we have sort of went through throughout the whole tour, learning different types of language, so Spanish, that was also cool to learn, have a sit back and learn a bit of um, bit of words with that. But yeah, that was probably all my highlights for the trip. Yes, yeah, so good, Lockie. Uh, one of the thoughts we had on that experience was addressing mental health in the bush. A lot of the yep. guys that came uh, are from rural and regional areas. Just tell us a little bit about what, what you took home from that. Yeah, so the sessions we've done... Talking about mental health, um, I found probably the first one was a little bit, a little bit tough. You know, didn't really want to speak much about it because it's just a sort of a, sort of a touchy subject. But um, sort of after hearing the stories from the people that did speak up in the first session and then also the second session, um, it sort of sort of gave me the confidence to speak more about it. I can't say that I've experienced any sort of mental health issues myself or, or haven't seen any of my mates. But also from being like the youngest one of the youngest on tour and sort of hearing the stories um, the other boys had to say, you know, I can really take that on board and, you know, what they said, um, I can sort of use that to help other people as a mates or family members that are going through the same issue. So um, I really um, enjoyed those sessions when we had to talk about mental health and hearing the stories and how other boys coped with it and how they coped with their mates. You know, it's just something that I can sort of fall back on when um, an issue like that does arise. Absolutely, yeah, they were a little bit confronting um, for myself yeah. as well. So you arrived home. Recently, you won an award. Yep, so um, I completely forgot about the whole award ceremony because I had moved to Brisbane and everything, so I had a whole lot of other things on my mind. But, um, yeah, so last weekend, um, I just... Recently won the 2017 Frenchal Sports Club Sportsman of the Year. Um, out of all the clubs that are associated with the Frenchal Sports Club, the best and fairest from that 2007, 2017 season, um, they get nominated for this award. And then from there, the criteria is made of like what achievements they've made in that sort of sporting, what sort of level they've made rep-wise. It's really handy um, having made that sort of Australian stockman sort of side because... That sort of probably helped me win this award. Oh, that's excellent, mate. You had a great tour, Lockie. Uh, one of the biggest yep. things you picked up out of that was a new nickname. Yeah, um, so I'm going to leave that one to, uh, to the three young men from New South Wales, Jack Radford, Lachlan and Angus Windred. Um, they sort of came up with the nickname Big Wheels, you know, and the name sort of stuck, and I was happy to be called that. I never really had a name that sort of stuck like that. Absolutely, mate. Well, you got some um, some power off the back of the set piece, so yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about moving to Brisbane because that's mm-hmm. quite a big life step. So, you, so yep. a month ago you moved down. What was the main aim in moving, and and the biggest challenge you found? Yeah, so really, when I found when I was sort of just in Rockhampton after like the whole graduation ceremony and just sort of a month or two of not hearing back from the QAS, I, I sort of felt like I was just floating around and. Rockhampton, just doing training, but like nothing really happening. So I thought, you know, to um, get better at my rugby, and I wasn't really doing much anything else in Rockhampton, I sort of thought I might as well just go to Brisbane, see whether uh, I'm 
able to compete mm-hmm. at that level at, in the Premier grade or just yep. Brisbane rugby in general. But, um, yeah, it was a difficult move as I was leaving friends, family in the Misso in Northampton. But I think it's just really good. You know, I always wanted to sort of leave sort of the bush rugby and uh, have a crack at the city bloke. So good, mate. You're in the midst of it at the moment. So, you've, so you're with North. And a couple of trial games. Yes. How have you found it? Has it been a step up? Yeah, definitely. Um, had the first trial yeah. game of the weekend just gone with North. We played um, East. Uh, yeah, definitely was a massive step up. Uh, I found myself blowing out of gas in the first 20 minutes or so. The <laughs> pace of the yeah. game is just intense. It's yeah. crazy. But yeah, and, definitely and, definitely enjoying it. Yeah, that's great, Lockie. Oh, it's just so good to talk to you, mate. Would, would you have any advice for you know country guys around Australia who are looking to make uh, something yep. put themselves in rugby or take the next opportunity. Do you have any advice for them? You know, like if you if you are wanting to pursue that sort of that career and um, wanting to try out how good your sort of rugby level or how good you want to play, um, I sort of think if you have the right level of mind, if you're ready to uh, move away or ready to work really hard, be 100% committed to what you want to do. Um, I suppose you have to just stick with it, man. Just if you really want it, you just have to go for it. Yeah, great, mate. So there's almost a mental maturity you've got to take with you and and just focus on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the one thing. You know, I suppose if you want to make the final decision, you have to be 100 percent with it and ready to commit to it. Because if you do move down here, it's a bit iffy. It does suck, and you get a bit homesick. And um, yeah, things become a bit hard. So yeah, brilliant, mate. Big wheel. It's been good having a chat with you. This is going to be your best year yet. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Can't wait.